The farm families that own Cabot are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Baby, don't you know you're the only, only one? Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We're here at the Humane Society of Chittenden County in South Burlington, and this is Moose. Baby, don't you know you're the only one? Last four years, Kelly and Ian Schultz have been volunteering at the Humane Society, taking photos of all their animals and helping find them forever homes. It was kind of a crazy idea at the time. They didn't really believe that I was going to come once a week, and we've been coming once a week for four years. 1,614 animals um, total that you filmed, or what is Yeah, that? we started in January 2009, so that's since 2009. So she comes in once a week, every Thursday morning, and she photographs all of the animals that are newly available, who aren't on the website yet. And Kelly's work is absolutely, in so many cases, what gets the animals adopted. So I want to do the animal justice and show what, you know, what truly might be there. If Kelly captures them and is able to show that cuteness, that's what gets them homes. Well, for the first, you know, three years that um, we were doing this and, and coming to the shelter and, you know, coming here every week, I could just point to a, a picture of a cat and she would know the name of that animal. She'd be like, oh, that's Ruthie and that's, you know, Silas and that's whatever, you know? I really can't explain it. Like even, you know, black cats, you know, nobody can tell the difference between black cats, but to me, they all look very different. Animals are individuals, which means that they are living individual lives and they have individual tales that they can't tell. They'll just show me like one glimpse. That's all I need is like one glimpse of what they might really be like. Really, I love the tails that they back here. Oh, you're so pretty, Will. Actually, it'd be nice if you can get her to like face the back. Face the back? Yeah. Okay. Something different. Okay. So, like, if you stand here, that sets him up for a better angle for me. What's that? Oh, that was kind of a nasty face. <laughs> He's still always last. Oh, You're cute. You got him? Yeah, you Awesome. So a shelter like the Humane Society of Chittenden County, they really support education in the community and they support each and every animal that comes in as an individual. Thank you, Willis. <laughs> so we take in about 800 animals a year and we adopt out over 700. Last year, 2012, we placed 725 animals into new homes. A lot of shelters are struggling right now with overpopulation and things like that. And some don't have a choice, they, they have to euthanize them. And it really happens so much in this country and there's no no reason for it. These dogs and cats and, and smallies are really valuable family members, you know? Like, Ansel, you're 13, but we love him. He's a good boy, still got a lot of a lot of life left. And we let animals stay for as long as they need to until they find a new home. So we never euthanize for length of stay or space considerations. They just go the extra mile for every individual animal. Kelly somehow, I mean sure, she's got the nice camera and she's got all of the lights in the setup, but she just gets their soul. Yeah, mountain dog photography and I photograph all animals I've worked with, like I said, cows and horses and sheep and goats and llamas and a yak and <laughs> chickens. Yak. And <laughs> she somehow finds them in this exact right pose that captures their personality. I've heard people say that that's the reason they adopted the animal or that's the reason they came in to meet the animal in person. Sure, if we have an animal that's hard to adopt or just who has a particularly great photo, I'll put them up on Facebook and often within days somebody will come in for them and bring them home. That's happened in so many cases and people always celebrate with us on Facebook when we say they've been adopted. That's a lot of fun. Like goofier shots definitely tend to get a response or something that's just different when you're scrolling through your news feed. If it's something that you don't see all the time. Five newfies in a river. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun day. So last year we decided to do a calendar for the very first time and Kelly was immediately on board because she's super creative. So we were able to get 11 other women on staff on board as well as Kelly. She wanted to be a model eventually. I almost don't believe I took those pictures and I did that. You know, how that all came together that way. And Well, I would just like to say thank you so much to Kelly because she not only helps these animals find homes, she's also at every single one of our events supporting us and donating her time and her sessions. I'm not sure what we would do or what these animals would do without her. We're just so grateful. Always loved animals. Yeah, I always grew up with them and well you did too. 
Yeah, uh, we always had animals growing up. and uh, <laughs> In a lot of ways, I understand them a lot better than people. They don't really try to deceive you. It's hard to read people sometimes, obviously. But with animals, they don't really have a hidden agenda. Cats do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have five dogs and six cats and five chickens. This is Molly, Jackson, Ansel, and Logan and JB are over there. <laughs> Her dogs. Oh, there's Dory. Dory. Hi, Dory. If we hadn't rescued some of our guys, we don't know what would have happened to them. It might look a little <laughs> crazy with all of them climbing all around us right now. But yeah. This is kind of atypical. This was them, like the the instant they met. <laughs> It's funny because Molly beats up on Jackson like that and Jackson beats up on Logan like that. Nobody messes with Molly. He's my man. He's my man. She's 13 and she doesn't really care about anything. Can you imagine your life without animals at No. No. <laughs> you know, we like being with them for their entire journey. You know, it's never long enough for sure. All the love in the world. looking for a forever home and you can find them at the Humane Society of Chittenden County. We'll get stuck around with you again real soon. I hope you find a home real soon, buddy. It was like, there was, it wasn't even like we had another dog. So she stayed. Well, the... Yeah, this is... <laughs> I know! I feel like a little <laughs> <embarrassing>. <laughs> And he's nipping occasionally, so... He's kind of like suckling your ears. <laughs>